Are you ready for three SAT practice questions with me, Anne-Marie? We're with the heart of algebra for the SAT. So let's dive in and see what's the first linear inequalities and systems of inequalities question I need to solve today. So first up, I am heading to page 82, number three. So let me get there and see what I'm going to be doing. Number three. The number line above shows the solution to the inequality. Which of the following symbols would make the statement true? Okay. Well, I'm real tempted to look at this and say right off that my symbol is going one way or another, but that negative sign in front of the X is going to start flipping my sign around. So I'm actually going to solve this inequality um, so that I don't make a mistake, because I don't want to make a mistake. So I've got 15 minus x blank 9. And I'm going to subtract 15 on both sides. And I have negative x blank uh, negative 6. And then I change this. So it's going to be x is according to my according to my thing here it's x is less than or equal to 6 right but since i had to flip the sign earlier because of that negative it's going to look like this up in the original so that's going to be answer choice d not getting me sat all right next one uh, we are going to look at page 84, number 11. The figure above shows the solution set for the system, all of that. Which of the following is not a solution to the system? Okay, so the solutions are the part where it overlaps on the graph which they're conveniently giving to me. That's really nice, I don't have to draw it myself. Um, and we're looking for something that isn't a solution, so something that isn't in this overlapping part. So negative one over, my first answer choice, negative four up is going to edge in right there. Um, one over and negative one up is actually right outside my zone, so B is not fitting here. All right, let's see what I'm doing next. Uh, page 83, number six. All right, if negative two fifths is less than three K minus four, and that's less than six sevenths, which of the following is not a possible value for negative six K plus eight? Interesting, so I'm not actually solving for k here. I mean, I could solve for k and then change it into negative 6k minus 8, but I really don't need to because my original is already really close to that. All I have to do is multiply this by negative 2 in order to get to what they're asking me for. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take negative 2 fifths less than 3k minus 4, less than 6 sevenths, and multiply the whole darn thing by negative 2. Now, since this is an inequality and I'm multiplying by a negative number, I'm going to have to flip all of my signs, but we'll get to that. So piece by piece, negative 2 times negative 2 fifths is going to give me 4 fifths and greater than 3k minus 4 times negative 2 is negative 6k plus 8, which is what I was going for. Then flip my sign. And 6 sevenths times negative 2 is going to give me negative 12 sevenths. Now, I am not done yet because I need to find something that isn't something that would fit within this range, something that isn't between 4 fifths and negative 12 sevenths. So, uh, negative 5 sevenths, that is going to be in between because it's 
bigger than negative 12 sevenths, but it's not positive, so it's not gonna fit there. Um, one seventh is definitely going to be less than five four fifths, but it's not negative, so it's gonna fit. Uh, one third, similar. Four thirds, on the other hand, that's bigger than one. So it's going to be too big to get in under four fifths, and it's definitely not going to be inside this range. So there's my answer. That was fun, right? You know what to do next. Subscribe to our channel and check out some other videos that we made for you.